Hello, this is a part nine of Muslim Impossible, and uh, the Muslim I'm uh, questioning about Islam, he, he's now desperately trying to change the subject away from the fact that uh, Muhammad said that water is not defiled uh, only in color, taste, and smell desperately trying to get away from that here but I keep on trying to bring it back to him and his, I tell you his tiki is fantastic but it starts breaking down here it starts breaking down here okay narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qudri the people asked the messenger of Allah peace be upon him can we perform ablution out of the well of Buddha Badu'a B -B -B -E -D -A, uh, cross, uh, then A H, which is a well into which menstrual clothes, dead dogs, and stinking things are thrown. He replied, "That's Muhammad. Peace be upon himself. Water is pure and is not defiled by anything." That's Sahih Muslim 166. See also Sahih Muslim uh, 167. Uh, he meant that water, a Buddha well, not any water. Oh. Oh, you poor guy. Where does it say, quote, he meant only the water of that well and not any water? So, if that well still exists and you were at that well and someone picked up pig poo, put in a blender with the water of only that well, made a pig poo shake out of it, the water still wouldn't be defiled and the water would taste like a chocolate shake to you and you wouldn't come down with some food poisoning? Are you sure? Again, where does it only say where does it say only the water of that well? If it's only that well well what do you think excuse me, well I want to tell you this. If it's only the water of that well that can't be defiled, what do you think of Sunan Ibn Majah five twenty, which goes this, it says this quote it was narrated uh, that Jabir e, uh, bin Abdullah said this quote um we came to a pond in which there was a carcass of a donkey. So we f refrained from using the water until the messenger of Allah came to us and said, quote, Water is not made impure by anything. Then we drank from it, the pond, where the dead donkey was in it. We drank from it and gave it to our animals to drink. And we carried some with us. And, and let's not forget this little gem. This is from... Sunan Ibn Majah 521, which comes right after it, says it was narrated by um, Abu Umama, Umama uh, Al Bahili said this quote, The Messenger of Allah said, Water is not made impure by anything except that which changes its smell, taste, and color. Uh, Question. Where is the mention of the Buddha well? Where is mention of the Buddha well? By the way, it sounds like Allah's apostle says the only change is in smell, taste, and color. No mention of being contaminated with bacteria that will cause typhoid. But again, or, or, or um, yeah, yeah, typhoid. But again, Say you are at the well, if it still exists, would you drink a pig poo slurpee made from the water of that well to show all that you believe Muhammad was a true prophet and therefore was and is the prophet Deuteronomy talks about? Since he wasn't wrong in this prophecy, at least. Be truthful if you can. And you know he um, he didn't respond, but then he responded some other time. Here he said this, but he said, "If that's your issue with Prophet Muhammad, quote eight seven deaths, then you are wrong about your thinking." Oh, because I was because I trust in the Prophet says. I I I, I trust because because I trust in in the prophet says 
about the seven dates. But it's wrong to suicide. And even the Bible tells you that same story. No. No. Uh-uh. You have just lied. You don't trust in what Muhammad said because if you did, then eating those seven dates wouldn't be suicide for you. To suddenly talk about suicide is to change the subject. Well, I can understand why you would change the subject. Now you're acting like devil by asking questions. If we don't ask questions, how can we seek knowledge? Which, according to Muhammad, is better than 70 years of worship. Well, 70 years of prayer. If you seek knowledge for just one hour, it's better than 70 years of having a patootie in the air. Uh, uh, Matthew 4, 5 says this. Quote, then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the height, on the, on the highest point of the temple. Quote, if you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you and will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the sun. Jesus answered, said, answered him, quote, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. What's that have to do with asking questions? Did you say you're acting like the devil and I'm Jesus in the case, but I answered you to do not the Lord your God, do not put your Lord to the test, your, your, the Lord your God to test. If he gonna save me from uh, the poison, or not. But what if you're wrong about what, what if you're wrong and Islam is false? Did you know that I asked my Mormon cousin, I sent you a letter of I sent you a letter of exchange between him and myself at, uh, between he and I uh, and I asked him questions about Joseph Smith. Since he can't answer me without responding in the way you do, well, does that mean Mormonism is true and Joseph Smith is a, is, is a true prophet? Be truthful now. It looks like you don't know anything about your book. And if I do know uh, about my book? Anyway, um, the Muslim then tries to change the subject by mentioning how I blocked... Uh, how I'm blocked by a Muslim on YouTube. I say this. There is a block on you because you spew your ignorance on his channel. What What do you mean by Takia artist? Takia is what you are. What Takia? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. He's talking to me. Sorry. Yeah, the Muslim then tries to change the subject by mentioning how I'm how I'm blocked by a Muslim on YouTube. He says this. There is a block on you because you spill your ignorance on this channel. Uh, uh, you, you spill his you spill your ignorance on his channel. What do you mean by takia artist? Takia is what you certainly do if you have a sword on your neck. Peter did the same thing. He did takia 600 years before Islam and three times in a row. You people. You don't know what you are talking about. Is what Peter have done takia or not? If no, then you are a liar. If yes, then why no Christian ever blamed him for that? I am also blocked in the majority of Christian channels for asking questions they can't answer. <coughs> Where does it say in the angel that, Peter den that Peter's denial of Jesus was good? Notice later that Peter felt horrible for denying Jesus because, well, he lied. But again, where in the book, the, that's the Bible, where in the book does God tell Christians to lie like Islam teaches with war is deceit? And um, he ignores the question and instead goes on and on to, uh, talking about the atomic structure of water and how it can't be changed. <coughs> Which I won't add to Muslim Impossible, but uh, we'll add here. It goes, rainwater, he says, rainwater, pure to drink. See, okay, he goes on and on about how uh, water can't be changed, the atomic structure of water can't be changed. And with that I say,
it just it just goes on and on and on about how water can't be changed, you know, the atomic structure and how uh, stuff like that. And I say this. I say, what does quote water is not made impure by anything except that which changes its smell, taste, and color? Isn't that all as apostles' way of saying that water water can be changed? Notice though, he leaves out bacteria content. How come he left out bacteria content if pig poo is added? Wouldn't a true prophet not even have said such a stupid thing as, quote, water can't be changed? We're talking about whether or not water, drinking water, and water for ablution is made impure by, say, dead donkeys and dead dogs. Mr. Pubba says it isn't, to the point where they drink the water with a dead donkey in it. They drink the water with the dead donkey in it. There's no mention of the fact that the atomic structure of the water can, can't be changed. They drink the water of the dead donkey. So would you, to show Muhammad was a true prophet and not being wrong in at least this prophecy, well, would you drink the water with no hesitation? Better yet, would you drink a pig poo shake and feel no fear of getting typhoid or some other food poisoning? Or would you have to eat seven Adwa dates before you took a swig of the pig poo shake, fearing you'd be you'd get be food poisoned if you don't if you didn't eat the dates first? Be truthful now. And he tries to change the subject. 